Just fight. Give them a pit with some mud and let them fight. Yeah, it's a new day in the workroom and boy did I have an afternoon. So I just got back from Priyanka's video premiere party and it was really cute. It was really fun. Uh, the video was bomb. I am obsessed with all of her songs and the visuals that she's created. It's a whole little universe, as she calls it, the Priyanka universe. All I kept ask asking myself is, what's the budget? Because this shit looks expensive. It was such a cute evening, but I had to rush home, leave early. I didn't really get to stay for the Q&A or anything because I have to come watch Canada's Drag Race and talk to you guys. And I'm so excited for this week's episode because these girls are really exciting to me. I don't care what everyone else in the comments is saying. Some of you are like, I don't like the season so far, yada, yada, yada. I'm in love with these girls already. I don't know them, but I love them. So let's get into this week's video. Feel it. Thank that you. was fucking amazing. You did. I pride myself on my performing and that's where I shine. I'm glad you're here, bitch. Speaking of comments, a few people had varying opinions of who should have stayed last week and who should have actually gone. Some people thought some other people should have been in the bottom too, other than the two that ended up in the bottom. And others thought that the person that went home, Halal Bey, should have actually stayed and Miss Moso should have sashayed away. I saw that one comment, by the way. I think I mispronounced Miss Muso's name or Moso. I I keep volleying back and forth. Muso, Moso, Muso, Moso, which one is it? I'll get it one day. Uh, I think the lip sync was very middle of the road. I hated the song, I told you guys that. And I kind of feel like the right person won based off the lip sync alone and not just my feelings on whose drag I'm more attracted to. Winter peg. When this queen's not playing hockey, she's working out to stay fit, ferocious, and Fuckable. Her words. I found this mini challenge to be quite... I want to say stupid. <laughs> I want to say stupid. Someone to say stupid. Um, it's all... Quick drag. I'm never really a big fan of the quick drag things. It's like, okay, they are going to look crazy. And it's all about comedy. But it's not my type of comedy. I don't find it funny. So, hmm, Shalazan LaRue, she won. It was all a blur to me. They all busted. I didn't laugh at any of it, but I'm glad she won $2,500. Hi, Winnows. Hi. Hi. I can't believe that we were partnered. I'm so happy. Do you have experience with like talking in front of audiences? You know, I host shows like in Ottawa like, yeah. all the time. Today, now we're getting to the meat of the matter, okay? This challenge is all about hosting skills and comedy chops. So you gotta write jokes, you have to have personality, you have to be able to maybe do improv. Like you kind of decide how you want to do this. Do you want to go up there scripted or do you want to go up there and improv it and bounce off of your teammates? I feel like I've actually seen Jada and Miss Mosu host something together before. Let's see what they do. And as far as <laughs> okay Shalazan was really shady for this because I don't know if Shalazan knows Fierce and K Kimika Tour well or what the situation is there but I would never put those two together if I was looking to make a great show I'd put those two together if I'm looking to create drama and just have them fail because while they're both like catty girls and they can throw a little shade here and there and they're pretty girls and they're you know they have fashion and they're cute I don't see them as comedy queens or people that are going to excel when it comes on when it comes to a challenge that really is surrounded by humor so I can't wait to see how this train ends up what are like other words for like like amazing dramism no high end no. One of a kind collective outfits. Girl, grammar really is not your thing. Oh, 
more sookie sookie. These girls, listen, Kimmy and Fierce, entertaining, quite entertaining. I'm enjoying the show. I get where Fierce is coming from. I don't want to feel like I'm pulling you, dragging you the entire challenge. I need you to, you know, put something into the pot. Like, let's make this gumbo together. But Kimmy, I get what she's going through as well. That's not her tea. And so it's not easy to just be like, serve up a punchline. No, it's not. And some people, they need a lot of time to really flesh out these things. And it's just like on the spot, gimme, gimme, gimme now. The, the best way to go about it would be to calmly wait for your partner to figure it out. And in the meantime, you try to figure it out as well. So that's like plan B. But what they're doing is way better. Just fight. Give them a pit with some mud and let them fight. Girl, you're saying it all wrong. Since we are the look queen, it seems fitting that we are presenting this award. Okay, you need to make sure you're delivering the lines the way they're written. No, I know, I'm just trying to memorize They're coming it. off differently. Fierce Delicious is coming off kind of mean. I mean, the way she's coming at Kimmy, like, girl, no, 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 no. It's kind of reminiscent of when Cornbread was like, slamming, well, slamming is not the best word, but like coming for <laughs> uh, Jasmine Kennedy back on that last season where anytime Jasmine would over talk, she's like, oh, you're doing it now. Nope, 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 nope. You know, like this is kind of that, but way different and worse. I feel like Kimmy Couture has an accent and there's a specific way that she speaks and how her words are phrased. So, Telling her, you're not saying it right, you're not doing it right, you're doing it wrong, you're doing it wrong. I don't know if that's very helpful. I feel like maybe while we're doing our makeup together, maybe I can show you how I feel like it would be best delivered and then you can mimic me. So that might be more helpful rather than having Kimmy do it herself and then be like, that's not it, that's not it. Show her what it is then. But as I said, um, the judges look cute. <laughs> I'm not always understanding Brad's point of view when it comes to fashion. He's a stylist, so I'm going to trust him and say, have fun with it. Tracy is beautiful with a banging bod. I just wish they would like you know, prop her out there and give her something spectacular every time. That would be nice. Sometimes she feels so casual. Brooklyn, I love how she experiments with her outfits. She looks amazing. I love her this wig and the outfit's great. What I find interesting though is when she's talking to the judges and the banter back and forth. This is Canada's Drag Race. This is Brooklyn Heights. This is not RuPaul. This is not RuPaul's Drag Race. So we don't need to like force Brooklyn into becoming RuPaul. The whole like, <laughs> the, the weird laughter, the way she speaks, the way she stands, like she can make it her own. It's becoming t a little bit too mimicky and weird. Good evening to all the ladies and gay men watching at home. Bonsoir, mesdames et messieurs. J'espère que vous allez bien. J'ai un peu fait caca dans ma robe. This group was really fun. I enjoyed the jokes. I feel like all the jokes are funny. Some of the queens that were in the audience that they kind of made fun of, like Miss Moso, she didn't really find it funny, but I thought it was funny. So I laughed. <laughs> yes, the, um, I got it. The, the, where? Oh, oh no, it was when I was exactly, no, no, I watch it every year, I watch it, I know it. I enjoyed these girls. I thought at some points it was a little bit like too much and I was kind of like not into it, but it was cute, it was short. I love when they turned around and they're like, oh, no music, no screens. That was funny. Also, I feel like the queens in the audience could like, help a sister out 
Is it that boring in there? Like, is it that dry? No one's giving a facial expression. No one's clapping. No one's cheering. No one's nothing. And so it's all left to the judges to kind of gauge, is this really funny or is it really bombing? Um, I feel like some of these girls are bitter. It's so cold in here. Oh. Oh. Carry on, carry on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, child, Miss Muso, Jada, Shada, Hudson. Listen, y'all, listen to me when I say it was interesting. They did the two jokes that I heard those two jokes already because they're the same two jokes they told Brad at the walkthrough in the workroom. It didn't land. They did not land. And the delivery was a little different on stage. The fact that Jada had to tell Miss Moso to like continue, the joke flopped. Don't stand there silent, move, al move it along. I thought that was like very telling. And um, Again, I've seen these two hosts before. <laughs> and I'm not being shady. I'm not being shady, I promise. But I didn't feel like, I felt like it was like a regular drag queen hosting with another, just another regular drag queen. You know, when you go to a drag bar, it's just like, how are we feeling tonight? Are we having a good time? And everyone is liquored up and just trying to be pleasant. So they're like, yeah woo i didn't think it was like i didn't think they're like funny comedy queens so i was like let me see what they do and boy did i see what they did we all see what they did you look the most stunning today it feels very correct that we are here <laughs> to present you the award for the Best all dressed. I am pleasantly surprised. Fierce, fierce, delicious, and Kimi Couture, they did a great job. Kimi Couture did it better than Fierce. I don't see these two in the bottom this week. Twist. Hello. Uh, Kimi Couture was carrying the entire thing. She was so funny. Her delivery and just everything worked for her. And her outfit looked amazing. I thought Fierce Delicious did a good job as well working with her. I do have to comment though on Fierce Delicious's dress. <sighs> no, I, there's a lot of things going on here that I am questioning. The material, okay, we're gonna work with it. But then <laughs> the lining underneath, it did not hit the floor. <laughs> it was, I, I, what anyways i enjoy these two queens and they did amazing i'm so proud of them oh wow the moon is so beautiful tonight irma that's a studio light sure it is sweetie <laughs> <laughs> these queens started off so strong i was like whoa this is going to be probably the best one of the night the banter was good and the jokes were hitting but then irma gerd started like gur, 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 gur. and i was like girl Get it together. What are you doing? And it just, she lost it. She lost it. And maybe she's gonna be in the bottom. Mm -hmm. Category is Goddesses of the Ancient World. Y'all know I love chaos. Um, this winter goddess look, it's okay. But I feel like my expectations of chaos are just so grand now that it's going to be tough for her to continuously blow my mind because I just see her, I, I've put her on a pedestal already. Sorry, girl. I'm gonna have to take you off of it to give you a fair chance here. I think it's a cute look, but because there's a, so much white, you needed more colors to let the details of the top be seen. Maybe some hues of blue. It would still give the winter effect. Um, the headpiece from afar, it does not show that much. And up close, it does look crafty. I love the makeup. 
I just like her face, the way she draws her mouth and her eyes. It's very brats like and I really enjoy it. But the outfit itself is just not exciting. It feels very crafty at the top and like basic at the bottom. She's a fashion queen and anyone who does not think that, you're crazy. Bombay looks bomb. I love this. The green, the hoop skirt that doesn't hit the floor. I can see your shoes, you're stomping. The headpiece. That's, that's really great. It's really good. Of course you chose Cupid because you want to be half naked. <laughs> I'm not mad at it. I love the wings. I like the way they move when you walk. I would love if I wasn't able to see like the mechanic and mechanics of it from behind and all of that. Like there's so much good with this. The hair giving the, the, the curls of Cupid and all of that. The skirt making it look like a cloud. It's all so good. I just wish that when you turned your back, I wouldn't be able to see any of the things holding up the wings. But that's just like a minute detail that I'm obsessing over for no reason. Goddess of the Underworld, you say? Listen, I, li I think this is a very well executed black look. It's black pants black shoes, a black veil over your body and the top and like so a crown you got from freaking Etsy. It's cute, but goddess of the underworld, you need to come a little harder than that. This is like, <laughs> this is me going to Halloween and being real lazy. Like this is not the goddess of the underworld. It's cute, but no. Hmm, Mami Wata. I don't, like, you said half snake and half fish, and so now I'm expecting a lot. I can see the fins. I can kind of see the fish. I can kind of see the snake from the corset. But then the skirt half of it, I'm like, what's that supposed to give? I'm looking. I think she looks great. I just don't know if the the skirt is selling the fantasy as much as the top half is. And I wish she chose a different color. Okay, so I had to go kind of Google schmoogle for a quick minute to see what this goddess would look like, if there's any imagery of them. Because I'm like, was there, is this garment like a replica of what the sky goddess should look like because before I gave my comment because my comment is this is a dress you had in your closet and you decided to just do some raccoon makeup and dip your hand in a lot of foundation or whatever the hell that is and call it a look and that's not a look for me all the images I saw it looks like this is just a goddess that there's no specific image and it's kind of left up to interpretation if this is your interpretation I feel like you could have pushed yourself farther if there's an image of the sky goddess out there and this is what it looks like, please somebody send it my way because I could not find it. I feel like this is such a cop out and like not very innovative and it's like not pushing yourself. Giselle Lullaby is eating the runway. This queen is one to watch. I feel like this is one of my favorites so far. I mean, apart from like Bombay, I love this. The prosthetics, the sheer detail in the bust, in the everything. It's just so good. Like this is what I expected to see when I heard the freaking category. What were all these other girls thinking? Oh, I got a dress in my closet. Let me whip it out put on a little crown on my head and throw some glitter all over my body. This is what I came to see. I love that Kimmy Couture said, goddess of the sun, I don't know who that is, but I'm serving it. And 
Well, oh, all right, all right then. I do like the orange color. I think it's really great. There's the sun on the head. There's a sun on the a garment. Um, it's a fine look. It's like, you know, sun god. Basic, easy, create sun shapes and make a flowy garment. So it's kind of Greek-esque. It's fine, like middle of the road. Nothing too extravagant, nothing that's blowing my mind, but it's done well. Ooh, Fierce doing the goddess of beauty and vanity. Shocker. I enjoy this look a lot. I think she looks gorgeous. She kind of reminds me of, is it called Queen of the Damned? That movie that Aaliyah was in? Anyways, it's kind of giving me that vibe, but I must comment on the hair. While I do love the hair, the mirrors are falling over so structurally the hair is not sound so i'm gonna have to bring that up because i'm seeing it this dress it's beautiful and greek-esque so that lends itself to the goddess theme and there's like i feel like that's an emerald in like a stone in the center it doesn't really feel like a mirror but it's okay there's mirrors She's holding a mirror. I get the vein part of it. She's pretty, I get the beauty. Middle of the road, safe. This is a cute look. It, I don't know if it's like, a, it's cute. I really don't have that much to say about this. It's again, one of those looks that it's middle of the road. It's hard to say it's not a goddess look and it's hard to say it is a goddess look. It's like, it fits the bill enough and it's well made. And so I'm not mad at it. It's fine. Isn't it funny that Ermager decided to be the goddess of chaos while chaos was not the goddess of chaos? I think this is a fun goddess look. I don't know what the goddess of chaos should look like. I think the hair is fun. I think the fabric that was chosen was interesting. Again, I'm gonna say just like another middle of the road thing. It's hard to say it is or is not. It's enough of what it needs to be. It's not special. It's not exciting. And I hope these are my opinions. Ooh, to be honest, when I thought of this um, runway, I thought, what would I have done if I were doing this? In Jamaica, there's a lot of, you know, superstitions and mythologies that I could pull from I'd be like there's this thing called a river mama that you could it's like a god this uh, it's like a mermaid type thing I'd probably do something like that if I wanted to be pretty or if I wanted to be like really grunge and evil looking there's something called a rolling calf which is like a cow with fires coming out of their eyes and chains dragging on the floor and everything it's like a demon from hell I would definitely, you know, that's what I would do. I would definitely do that. It would be amazing. If anyone ever does that, give me credit. I'm joking, I don't own it. <laughs> but yeah, these looks are fine. Honestly, a lot of you surprised me because there's a lot of funny girls in here and you guys didn't turn it out like I thought you would. And then me and Kimmy, who I thought were the unfunniest, were in the top. Leave it to Fair Salicious to like, get a conversation going. I agree. A lot of who I thought would turn it didn't really turn it. And the queens that I was like, this is going to be a train wreck. I can't wait to see this crash and this wreckage. Gooped. Like, really gooped. I feel like the tops are valid. I would have replaced, you know what? one of Kimmy is the only one in the top that I feel like should really be in the top and I'd replace some of the other people yeah but the bottom people make sense it makes perfect sense the nominees for best performance in a maxi challenge are Shelazan LaRue Kimmy Couture and Miss Fierce Delicious Kimmy Couture yes. <laughs> Congratulations! Of course Kimmy Couture won this episode. She looked amazing. 
when she was giving out the awards. She was the funniest giving out the awards in her team. And then on the runway for her sun goddess, she looked great again. Like serving looks on top of looks on top of looks and being funny and being a pretty face. Give it to her, she deserves it. As far as the bottom queens go, who didn't see that coming? Two good Judies that work together in Toronto, bomb together, and now you're gonna have to lip sync against each other. Like Miss Musso, I feel like I never say that name right, and I'm going to get it, I promise you. <laughs> Miss Musso is a great lip syncer. Jada is a great lip syncer. Whatever this song is, I hope it's a turn up song because I want to see them both go at it because I want to see a show. Don't fuck it up. She's a cool Woo! blonde scheming bitch. I did not like that lip sync song. High School Confidential is a cute song. It's a bop. It was a bop. I'll sing along to it if I hear it playing in an Uber or somewhere, sure, but I didn't want to see that song. But the queens did whatever they could do with it. Mosu was giving more Cher, you know, the singer, C-E-R, <laughs> and like sexy, cool, very that. Jada was giving like, take me to church worship like a dog very that and jada won the lip sync i didn't think jada was gonna go home because i feel like jada is a huge name in canadian drag and so they're gonna want to keep her for a minute i just didn't see her going home that quick it would have been a big shock to a lot of people and um <clears throat> yeah I like Miss Mosu. I thought she, I think she's beautiful, first of all. Beautiful, beautiful queen. And there's a lot of potential there, but I don't know if she was ready for the show. She almost came across as like, yeah, they asked me to be on the show and I just threw some stuff together and I said, sure, I'll do it. I don't know if she was fully present. But all in all, she had a good run, even though she was in the bottom for the first two episodes. I cannot wait to speak with her tomorrow. If you have any questions for her, leave them down in the comment section so I can ask her those questions. And yeah, good episode, guys. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and go over to Patreon for more exclusive content or just to support my channel. This takes a lot of resources. Hello. <laughs> And until next week, love you for watching, bye. Hey beautiful humans, you've made it this far in this video. Why not subscribe to my Patreon? You can sign up for exclusive content I don't post on YouTube or support me making content for this channel. Speaking of, why don't you watch another video?